Hey, I'm Nate Zelensky. You know, the topic comes up of filleting fish, whether you're filleting a walleye or a crappie or perch, there's a million ways to do it. Everybody has their own style. Uh, but we're going to walk you through how I personally do it. I fillet a lot of fish and uh, hopefully you can learn from it and get better quality out of every fillet. So on a walleye, we want to make sure we take this cheek meat. So many people miss that out. So we actually take that, uh, take our knife and right along that cheekbone, get right there to the bottom of the eye socket and just peel that big chunk of meat right off of there. Put that in our bag. Then we're going to start our fillet. Now there's a big chunk of meat right here. A lot of guys go straight down from this pec fin and they go straight down but they miss that fillet. So we're going to start at the top, roll right down behind that fin, go down until we hit the spine. When we hit the spine, we roll our knife and we're pulling away and cutting down. Not cutting through the spine, but just make sure we don't miss any meat along there. So we're just cutting right along that spine, again right through those ribs and take it right off the tail. Beautiful fillet right there. We flip it over and do the same thing. Get that cheek meat. So we're going to go right there, right to the base of the eye socket, hit the base of the eye socket, peel that right off, got that big old medallion, throw that in our bag, and same thing, make sure we get that big chunk right behind the gill plate, come down right behind the pec fin, into the belly meat, slide our knife in there, hit that spine, and I'm just pulling as I'm cutting down, and you just go right off the back there. Now. 80% of people, that's the, the big portion of your filet, that's the meat you take. Now, if you are from Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, you hear guys talk about walleye wings. So I basically I'm gonna go right here behind the fins, cut that belly meat out, then I go right here behind that gill plate, and you cut right down through there. And this is what you call a walleye wing. You fry this whole, so skin on, thing, and, uh, and, and fins on, and you actually hold it right there with two fingers, and you just bite that all off. So there's one bone in there, but usually with enough heat when you fry it, that bone disintegrates and, and goes away. So you literally hold the two fins, put your mouth right there, and peel that whole thing off. That's called wing night when you're eating walleye. So do it, don't do it. I would say uh, maybe 10% of anglers do that. But regardless, that's a piece of meat if you would like to do so. Now we go back to our filet right here, we got our ribs, so you're actually going to cut down these ribs and right where the ribs bend, right when you hit that bend, you're just going to pull your knife off. So you're cutting, you're cutting right behind those, those uh, ribs right there, get right to that bend and just pull it off. Ribs are gone, flip our filet, we're actually going to use a clamp on a filet board to hold that, cut down until we hit that skin and literally just peel that off. When you get to about the last inch, you're gonna turn the knife and cut it off. We leave a little piece of skin right there as identification to where we know it's a walleye, make sure everything's legal in transportation and storing it at your house. We're now gonna take this, the filet's done. Most people are 100% over with it. We wanna make sure we get the absolute quality of our meat. You have a center line right there, the Y bone, whatever you wanna call it, a mud line, um, but that's a bad piece of meat right there. So you take our knife and we actually cut about an eighth of an inch on either side of that lateral line right there. So now you basically have a, uh, a little pitchfork. You're gonna hold the center piece and you're gonna grab that meat and you're gonna pull down. It's called running the zipper. So we zipper that out. That right there is nasty. You don't want that. Even if you go to a filet or a, a restaurant and you order a filet of fish, so many times you'll have this great, amazing piece of meat, then you'll get that one real fishy taste. It's because you took a bite of that. Most people don't cut that out because they don't want to ruin the look of the filet. It doesn't look as nice on the plate, but I'll tell you what, it tastes a whole heck of a lot better. So rip that out right there, deboned, amazing piece of walleye. Do that to the opposite side and you have a filleted fish at the best quality possible.